right, everyone, I'm Joe Haley. You're watching The Joe Show. What's up, Canada? Hopefully you're all doing well. You're staying safe. We're getting through this together, as we keep saying. I'm broadcasting from my studio here in uh, beautiful North Hills, Pennsylvania, my studio being my dining room. And we have a beautiful uh, June day today. The weather is absolutely perfect outside. That's why I have a little quarter zip on. Um, so I'm right outside of Philadelphia. Joining me today is going to be Melissa Neiman. She uh, heads up our social media and she will be putting the product numbers and the ASI numbers um, for the products we show on the Joe Show in the uh, box there. If you have any questions, you can put them in there as well. So let's get started. Uh, first, I want to show you uh, this has got a graduation uh, theme on it. So it's a dye sublimated lanyard. It's got a split key ring on the end for credentials on there. Uh, a lot of schools in our area have already graduated. Um, that could be middle schools uh, or high schools, uh, local colleges and universities have graduated. So uh, this, it has graduation on there. But, you know, let's think of schools with lanyards coming forward. What's the school year going to look like for schools in the States, in Canada? What are they going to look like? And it might look like students and teachers having to have masks on. So how do we make sure we know who we're speaking with? So there might be um, a new rule for students to have to have an ID visible at all times that has their picture on it so that teachers know who they're speaking with. Same things with uh, teachers and administrators too. They might need to have their picture visible as well so students know who they're speaking to. So I think that there's a great need for a nice uh, dice level they, uh, lanyard for uh, the school markets. Uh, also for businesses too, coming in and out, you know, we all have masks on and we want to know who we're talking with and who we're speaking with. And of course, anyone on those frontline uh, workers, uh, hospitals, restaurants, uh, a variety of different uh, businesses, this is going to be a product that's going to fit for the years coming. All right. So we are in code yellow here in uh, in the southwest part of Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia. So there's some things we're allowed to do. So they allow outdoor uh, um dining so we can go to restaurants as long as those tables are six feet apart um, we should be able to dine we have to have a mask on in common areas waiters and waitresses always have to have masks on so a lot of people like myself have uh, patroned our favorite pubs and restaurants uh, during our uh, lockdown if we want to call it that and I think what would be nice for some of these restaurants to do or any business is to thank those customers for coming back. But I think this is great specifically for bars and restaurants. I'll show you a series of coasters. So this is a bamboo coaster, and this comes individually packed in there. So bamboo, as we know, um, grows very quickly without the use of fertilizers or pesticides. So it's considered an eco-friendly uh, product. So we've got a four-color imprint on the one side. On the other side, we have a laser etching on there. So just a nice gift for those people who supported you, your business, uh, during the lockdown. And just, you know, thank you for coming back. We go to a favorite restaurant in uh, the Chestnut Hill area of Philadelphia, and they often just thank you for coming in. They give you a stack of coasters. This is great for businesses, uh, manufacturing companies, not only manufacturing companies, um, for construction companies, any type of business that has supplies, materials that are delivered on pallets, or maybe it's a pallet maker. Now you see there's four slats here on this pallet, and this is made out of actual pine wood, and so each four can be branded uh, with a company logo. And you'll see it looks like a shipping pallet, so a nice little coaster that uh, fits into that type of business. And then finally, I'll show you two different sizes. So this is a real bark coaster, so that's real tree bark there. And I'll show you, this has got a different logo on the other side. So I love this. The front side says gone fishing, right? So I think of campsites, uh, wilderness lodges, uh, anyone who goes outdoors, if there's these beautiful hotels set out in the woods, in the mountains, this would be a great coaster to give. And here's the larger side there. And again, this is real wood and it's been branded with a company logo. So those campsites, you know, hopefully people are able to come back this summer go camping thank you for thinking of us and a set of coasters now we think of coasters sometimes just like when we go dining you know we're at a bar we're sitting at a bar outside dining we need coasters all the time too because you get that condensation when it gets uh you know warm outside and we've got a cold drink there, that condensation and a lot of those outside tables are either wire mesh or they're a glass top and what happens that condensation builds and it makes a mess a mess so 
something like this would be perfect either for the restaurants to use or to give it as a gift to those patrons coming back and those who supported them during lockdown all right businesses in our area are opening businesses all over the world are opening uh employees are coming back so what do you do how do you thank employees that worked hard through the shutdown where we were working from home a lot of employees had never worked be home from in the past they had to learn new uh tech platforms, uh, things like MS Teams, uh, go to meetings and such, and without really losing a beat. So uh, companies are gonna be hopefully grateful for those employees. So when they come back into the workplace, a nice gift might be great for them. So this is a 24 ounce uh, tumbler here. So it's stainless steel, double wall insulated. It's gonna keep the cold drinks cold for 24 hours. Hot drinks hot for uh, 12 hours. It's got that powder coating on it, so there's going to be no condensation. It's not too fat, so it's going to fit in most uh, vehicle cup holders. What I like about this, it has it has a flexible little loop here, so I can carry it like this. Or if I had a carabiner, I can attach it to my backpack. I can attach it to a belt loop. So we've got this, this spout right here. And what I like about this, this is my favorite part about this, is that it's hinged, okay? And it hinges ensures that I'm never going to lose the cap on this, okay? So I'm going to take my drink, I don't have to worry about it, and I'm good to go. It's got a wide mouth, and what the wide mouth enables us to do is to load this up with ice. So whether it's water, whether it's uh, some type of power drink, um, there's a lot of things you can put inside here. Put your hot coffee and tea in here if you want. Use it as a thermos, right? Put our hot coffee in there in the morning, 24 ounces of hot coffee. Take this into work, it's gonna stay hot for uh, 12 hours, right? Then I just use my little spout here, pour it into my mug at my desk, and I can close this back up. Um, so I, I really think it makes a nice gift for employees uh, coming back to work the workplace and again let me just show you that that wide mouth again if you've got clients that want to do something even more special maybe get them a special t-shirt special shirt anything that can fit inside there so you can roll up that t-shirt put it in saying thank you for your um, your hard work and not all heroes wear capes whatever the case would be they come in on their desk really appreciative um, a product that someone's going to want to use over and over and over again so while we've been working from home and you know our live daily lives have changed some people are doing things like journaling and i think journaling is uh, an absolute ideal thing to do while we are you know sheltered in place let's uh, say that and because of that uh you can really find the gratitudes in your life and, and and there's a way to do that you can write down three gratitudes three things you're thankful for every day they can be real simple things okay real simple things the sun was out when i got up today Okay, it's in the mid 70s today. Great. Um, I see my neighbors walking down the street waving to me. We have three little simple gratitudes. Also, we can find that one thing that made us happy through the day and just journal that. So it doesn't have to be this this long, deep thought process stream of consciousness as how I, you know, made my you know way through the day. No, it can be those little things. So journals will be perfect for that. I'm gonna show you two different sizes. So this is a smaller version. You see we got the gold uh, foil stamp in here. And they've got the cream color pages. They're all lined pages, okay? And then I'm gonna show you if I can find this one because it's there, there it is. Every one of these journals comes with the ribbon, okay? So then we can mark our spot. Um, so for journaling, perfect for journaling. Um, this one actually says journal on it. So we have the blue color. Uh, this is black. Um, it's got that soft leather-like feel to it. I'm gonna show you the maroon one. Um, and again, for journaling. But you know what? This is good for employees as well taking notes during meetings uh, we sit in a lot of zoom meetings now ms team meetings we need to take our notes so it's great you start off with your first page and you put the date in there okay the date of what it is you take your notes there when you're done if you have room draw a line that next meeting so you always got something to refer back to you can keep your your to-do list in there as well and this is a larger size uh version of this um this is actually that's the gold stamp and it has it looks like a, a debossed um logo that's also filled with some uh, white ink there and you see this this journal actually has one on the back as well and again same thing cream colored lined lined pages in there so if you still have employees that are working from home and you see that happening for the foreseeable future whether it's for the next month two months or something something like this a journal just to let them know you're thinking of them um you know give them some inspiration to be inspired to write in that uh they can use it as something as that's going to help them uh, 
with their everyday uh, work. Okay, so we talk about our employees going back to work. No one, you know, if, if those businesses haven't opened yet, we don't know what they're going to look like. Um, but there's might be um, a chance that more people will be bringing their lunch into work, rather than using if there's a local cafeteria that's associated with the workplace, if there are local delis and sandwich shops nearby the workplace, uh, are employees going to want to have to mask up, leave, uh, place an order either through the phone or when you get to that place, uh, pick up that order, come back, you know, demask, desanitize everything, or they're going to be bringing in their own lunches. So. This is something that might be good on a variety of different levels for those employees who will be packing lunches and also for a health and well-being program. So I, I want to show you this lunch kit here. So it's pretty sizable. Okay, it's a sizable lunch kit here. You see it's black with, with the blue accents on there. Uh, we have a side pocket here, and inside this side pocket is a little container so I could put my pills in here. If I take vitamins in the middle of the day or if I have medication that I have to take, you know, morning, midday, and uh, early evening, uh, I can pack it in this container. Um, you can see it is segmented there so it can split them up. So I put that back in here. Also in there is a shoulder strap. You'll see there are loops here so I can actually sling this over my shoulder. In the other end, you're gonna see that we've got a nice water bottle here. If you wanna cut a water bottle, you can put protein drink in here. You can put water in here with uh, ice. Um, you can put that, that powder you know, drink in there and shake it up. And it's got its own special holder here in the, in the side. Fits in there. And then when I open up this center section, Okay, inside what you're going to see is you're going to see a variety of different containers in there. Let me move it over so you can see. A variety of different containers in there. So think about that. You need morning, maybe you have a couple of hard-boiled eggs right in here. Or maybe you have some um, yogurt and some granola. Yogurt in one small side on top. There's the other one. So we're going to put the um, granola in that so we can mix it together in one of the containers. Then for lunch, maybe we have a salad. Okay. So open this up. It's sealed pretty. Oh, I got to open up all sides, Haley. Um, so it's three segments, and so maybe I have just a, a full salad here, and then over here I'm going to have maybe my tomatoes and cucumbers, and up here my croutons because I don't want my croutons getting soggy. But what I like about this is these inserts can come out, and I can mix it all up in the bigger bowls. So and it comes with spoons. So if we're going to, you know, have something that is liquid or we need to, you know, use it to eat our uh, yogurt I have the spoons and there's one more container inside here and again it's the same type of con uh, container so it's got a nice grommet to seal it all up and stacks very nicely in this bag here so salad you know we can bring our breakfast in here we can put cereal in one of the smaller ones and put milk in you know the other small one why because in the front here there is oops there is a, a mesh. I'm not going to be able to do this without having to fall out. There's a mesh pocket, so I can just slide my uh, ice pack in there. Everything is going to stay cold, really nice and neat. You come home, load it up the night before, so in the morning you don't have to think about making lunch. It's ready to go. So there's going to be more counter service, we think, um, in a lot of businesses. Uh, you go in. Uh, the pub that we go to is opened, and outside dining, they're still doing takeout and they have a counter that they set up outside. So something like this would be perfect for them. So this is a counter mat, right? And we see these in hardware stores. Uh, Locksmith around the corner has one. Uh, all those uh, lock manufacturers provide something like this that it has the store's name on there, but it also has their products on there as well. So this one is actually for uh, power drill or, or power tools. Okay, so we see that, but it's not just for power tools. This could be for a restaurant. And the reason why I would like it for that because I put my hand in here and you're gonna see there's a window there, right? There's a window there and what I can do is put my day special in there, slide it in there um, every day, just change it up. So if someone comes up to that takeout uh, window, they can go and they can see the specials for the day. Or if it's not the specials, maybe it's the regular menu that might uh, roll over from time to time, but ample space there for that um, for that branding opportunities. And, you know, it doesn't have to be the restaurant that does this. So who do they buy beer from? Who do they buy their supplies from? Where do they get their, their meats from? Those companies can actually give those to those bars and restaurants. And then when they get it, maybe do a co-branding where it's got the bar and restaurant logo on there too. And again, there's the space there for those uh, special menus. This doesn't have to be restaurants too, it can be any business.
as we open up and we go back to work, uh, we know that there's still going to be the need to social distance and social distance uh, everywhere we go. Schools are going to have to do that. Um, you know, ball fields are going to have to do that. So in those businesses, whether the grocery stores, uh, any type of business, um, they need something like this. This is a floor decal and it's custom cut. Okay. So it's like a sticker for the floor. I peel off the back. I lay it down. So this is a great opportunity for organizations, company to showcase their brands for color process on this beautiful imagery on this as well. So we put them six feet apart and there can be a little note on there, you know, maintain six feet distance. Um, but, but look at the graphics on this. I think about what are we going to do when we get back to schools and we got these kids that are antsy. Okay. And, you know, you know, boys, we know young boys like to push and shove, you know, and, and, and do the, those types of things. So we need to keep them occupied as they're standing on this. So I think that we could do games and puzzles and things that they have to be looking down and paying attention to that. You can do that at any grocery store too. Um, there are some people who have to go grocery shopping with their, you know, children because they don't have, you know, means to have a sitter come in and uh, or maybe they don't know a sitter. Um, so they have to take them grocery shopping. So how do you get those three, four year olds to sit there still and, and stay on the spot? So maybe fun designs, fun graphics, uh, something like that would be great. And again, since it's it's die cut, uh, any shape can be done. And I think that more companies should be using this. Um, it, it's, it's there's an opportunity out there. Still, there are some grocery stores in our area here that have just blue tape blue x's blue lines every six feet it's great that they're putting something on the floor to keep people you know socially distancing from each other but i think there's a missed opportunity for distributors um to make sales you know whether it's those stores themselves they do something that is branded or if if it's the vendors they use that can actually give them the branded floor mat so i think there's opportunity there all right the last group of products i have for you today um it's a variety of st uh, signs and these signs are actually called protect yourself and others and there's three different versions here so we've got this first version and it says hands wash them often elbow cough into the into it uh face don't touch it and how about that one that we were told we have to wash our hands for 20 seconds you know make sure we do that all the time and then how much do you touch your face you didn't realize it until you become aware of it feet stay more than six feet apart uh feel sick stay home so this could be used in any type of business whether it's some people who work in an office uh you know bars restaurants you know all those businesses we, we've been talking about what i also like about these signs is that um Part of the proceeds of the sales of these signs are going to go to an organization called Meals on Wheel. If you're not familiar with Meals on Wheel, they help provide food primarily for older people, um, but it's for people who can't, you know, afford meals for themselves, which is important. You know, I, I love organizations like that, charities like that, because you know, if someone's hungry, you feed them, right? This is our next sign here. This is the same sign as that first one. Face mask required beyond this point. Maintain six feet distance. I mean, this is great. The front interest of it any type of organization business um it's just that reminder people need to know that when i go in yes i have to put my face mask on and when you go in any businesses around here in our area um whether it's the wine store uh whether it's a bar a restaurant well the bars you can go in to use the facilities but you can't be in there to drink you can pick up a takeout usually takeout windows uh, but still you would need something like this on the outside because people need to know that you need a mask on when you're in those common areas for the outside uh, dining. So this is a, a good re reminder that says, hey, look, you have to have a mask on. And then finally, this is the biggest one. If I can get back a little bit, lean back on my dining room table here. Uh, masks required, safety first, beyond, so mask required beyond this point, and it says safety first. Um, I love the graphics on this. Um, I think it's pretty cool, pretty hip looking. It's sizable, it's yellow, so it's gonna draw attention. Uh, not only good for those businesses, but I start thinking about uh, the sports fields that are going to be opening right now. Uh, we are in uh, southeastern Pennsylvania. We are in a yellow state. We're, we're not at green yet. So um, youth sports, high school sports, nothing. There, there's no sports allowed right now. So we're getting close to green. And uh, I, I'm involved with a local soccer club. And uh, we are part of our, our state uh, soccer association. And there are rules and regulations. And people need to know that when they come to the fields. Okay, when they come to the fields, they get out of their cars. If they're going to line the fields to watch, they got to be six feet apart. Okay, they, they, they have to have masks on. Uh, coaches have to have masks on. Uh, players don't, unless they're on the bench uh, waiting to go in. They have to have masks on. But 
all spectators, parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, older, younger, whatever it is, everyone has a mask. So if these were stationed around fields, okay, again, yellow and bright, they're drawing attention. Uh, you put it on a wooden post, or there's wooden, you know, signage already there. You can attach it to that as well. So again, another opportunity to make sales. It's something that's important. Now, how long will we be doing things like this? How long will the new normal be? No one knows right now, but it's important that we continue to socially distance. We do all those right things. And I think that because of that, um, there is ample opportunity for the wonderful distributors uh, all over North America, Canada, and the U.S. All right, well, that's all the time we had. Um, if you're watching this after we've gone live, because we're live right now, and you have a question on one of these uh, products, please, in the comment section, put that comment in there. We'll go back and we, we look back at these and see if there are any questions in there, and we will answer that, okay? And Melissa helped today with, with putting those, those ASI numbers on there for you, the product numbers when the products uh, have a product number for you. And all I want to do now is wish you all well, good luck. Um, hopefully you're making sales, you're staying safe, and you continue to wash your hands. Until next time, I'll see you.